Greetings, everybody, from the not-quite-so-snowy state of Minnesota. My name is JetFighter93, and welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today, we are going to be starting a new segment. I am going to be doing a JetFighter93's Top 10. So today, I will be focusing on what I think are the top 10 most overpowered card in the game. Standard, right now. So, I'm hoping to talk about each of these cards for about a minute, so we're going to go from there. Coming in at number 10, in my opinion, is the Steward of Darkshire. Now, the reason I think the Steward of Darkshire is insane, because it basically turns your hero power into summon Argent Squires. And Argent Squires is actually also on my list, I believe, somewhere. It is not, actually. I completely lied there. But... I just believe this card is absolutely insane because it can combo really well with Stand Against Darkness. In Wild, you can combo it insanely well with Muster for Battle. Uh, coin this out, turn 2, turn 3, Muster for Battle. You have 3 one ones, a 3-3, three, three, a weapon, and 3 Divine Shields out on the board. That's kind of insane, and honestly, I think it should only be whenever you play a minion, because then this would make this card a lot, lot worse. The next card to come in on my list is the Abusive Sergeant. Now, the reason this is on my list is because a 1-mana 2-1 is okay. Like, uh, whatever. We've dealt with 1-mana 2-1s since the beginning of the game. However, the fact that it can allow a 1 or 2-drop minion to trade up into a 2, 3, or sometimes even 4-drop minions, that is insane. Now, I think to make the Abusive Sergeant a little bit... Uh, more fair. It should be a 1 mana, 1-1, one, one, give a minion plus 2 attack this turn. Or, a 1 mana, 2-1, give a minion 1 attack this turn. I think it would make it a lot easier to deal with, and it wouldn't be quite as difficult of a card to uh, get dropped on you then. Alright, coming in at number 8... We have the Flame Waker. Now, the reason why I think this card is completely broken is because it is so difficult to remove for most classes. 4 health is actually a lot. Like, and the fact that you can play it, turn 3, coin, pew, pew, throw down Arcane, uh, Arcane Blast. No, not Arcane Blast. Uh, what's the one drop one called? Hold on. Yeah, Arcane Blast, and uh, just destroy a board for four mana. That's insane. Like, that is a really good board clear. Granted, it's a little uh, a little unreliable, but the fact that you can just whip this guy out, coin that, Arcane Missiles, uh, Mirror Image, things like that, and just it causes things to really get out of control really fast. And also, he just really ruins 90% of Tavern Brawls, because this guy is just way too good for Tavern Brawls. So, that's why he deserves my number 8 position. Now, going to number 7, we don't have to go too far on my list here, we have Ice Block. Now, this card is a bane for most control players, because they'll be going up against a Freeze Mage, be doing really well, they'll throw it on Ice Block, throw it on Alexstrasza, uh, and you just lose. Like, with Ice Block out there, you just lose. And here's what I think the card should say. Oh, going back to the Flame Waker, what I believe the card should be is a 3-mana 4-2, because that's much easier to kill. But coming back to the Ice Block, I believe this card should read, Secret, when your hero takes fatal damage, prevent it. That's it. Prevent it. No, become immune this turn, because that's the insane part of it, is there's nothing in the game that gets rid of immunity. Like, that's why Malganus was so good, because he gave Warlocks immunity. So, that's why this card is my number 7 overpowered card. Alright, so now we're switching over to Shaman. We're going to be visiting Shaman quite a bit here. We got Doomhammer. So, the reason why Doomhammer is insane is it is more like a 7-drop weapon. And had they... And I honestly thought this was going to be one of the nerfed cards. Because I thought, oh, they're going to realize, hey, Aggro Shaman is going to be a problem if we don't fix this card. 
they didn't fix it. Shaman's amazing. Sorry, my ear's a little itchy. And we now are in a shaman-dominated meta, which isn't bad, but the mid-range and the aggression styles is pretty cancerous. And, uh... So the reason, and just because it can work so well with so many of the shaman cards. Well, not so many, but per particularly Rockbiter Weapon. The one mana, the uh, one mana card. This card. Like, and so that you can deal 10 damage or 16 damage. That's insane. That should not be allowed to exist in the game. 16 mana bursts for 6 damage. Uh, 7 mana. That's even better than the uh, Force of Nature Savage Roar combo, by the way, that we all cried and screamed about. I want to point that out. I really want to point that out. So what I think it needs to be is a 7-drop weapon. Get rid of the Overload. can be Wind Fury, and it'll still work just fine. That is why it has my number 6 setting. Coming in at number 5, we are heading back to Paladin. We are going to take a look at this cancerous little card, Divine Favor. Draw cards until you have as many cards in your hand as your opponent. Uh, because of this, Aggro Paladin will always exist. Just because it gives them a chance to then refill their hand for 3 mana. Now, we're going to go take a look at the Mage Equivalent. Draw 2 cards. Okay, so we're going to go back over to this one. Draw 10 cards, potentially. I shouldn't have to explain why this card is overpowered and why I believe it needs to be nerfed. What it should say is because uh, because in Hearthstone, card draw is valued at about one and a half mana. So, on average, they're drawing three or four cards with this. So they're getting one card per mana crystal. That's not even counting. Sometimes I've seen them draw six cards on me. So they're getting a card per half a mana crystal. Like the uh, most draw cards have a huge downside or are just terrible. Like. Like, awful, awful, awful. Um, so what I think this card needs to be is it needs to be three mana. Draw until you have three cards in your hand. Because then that way it'll just, you know, it won't be as evil anymore. And I have a golden one, so then I'll get full dust value on it. So Blizzard, please get on that. Alright, and that is why that is my number five card. Coming in at number four, we're heading back to Paladin, surprising no one. Flame Wreathed Faceless. I really don't need to explain why this card is good, but I'm going to anyways because I'm doing a top 10. So the reason why this card is absolutely insane, because it basically is a turn 4, 7-7. Seven, seven. Like... That's just so ridiculously good. Especially with BGH really out of the game now because of it being 5 mana, nobody's playing it anymore. And... Like, it wouldn't be bad if the overload was 3. Because then it would be a basically 7 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's fine. You take a look at all of the 7 attack minions. Um, so we'll just go into this. Guess what? Most of them are... There's only, I think, 1 or 2 7 attack minions that are at 6, six mana. And the rest are 7 and above. Like, think about that for a second. There are a few 10 mana cards that don't have 7 attack. I mean, Cthulhu doesn't have 7 attack, which is totally fine. But, I mean, there is so many. Eldritch Horror doesn't have 7 attack. Storm and Champion doesn't have 7. Sky Captain Crag, Crow Magus, Twin Emperor Vecklor. All of these really good cards don't have 7 attack. And that's not okay. That's completely broken that a 4 mana is stronger than most of the 7 drops in the game. But he's more like a 6 mana card. Um, to make him fair, he should be a 5 mana 7-7 seven, seven overload 2. Or, he needs to be 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven overload 3. Or just not exist. Just don't ever make a card like this again. Please, Blizzard. Please, we are really begging you. And that is why he is my number 4 card. Now, coming in at number 3. We have Tyrion Forgering. This guy is a pain in the butt. Um, just because... So, 8 mana, Divine Shield, Taunt, Death Rattle, 
and he's a 6-6. Six, six. So for two men, for two stats, you're giving him Divine Shield, Taunt, Death Rattle, and giving him a 5-3 weapon. That's insane. Like, if you scale him down to a 4-man, a 3-3, give him all this stuff and give him a, so you cut that in half, 2.5, 1.5 weapon. So you're looking at a 3-1 weapon, or a 3-2 weapon. So you're basically looking at a Fiery War Axe. That's insanely good. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, this card is better than a 5-mana, uh, not Death's Bite, Arcanite Reaper. So he gives you an Arcanite Reaper, plus a taunt, plus 6-6 six, six of stats, plus one more durability. That is insane! Um, to make this guy fair, I honestly think he should be a 10-drop. Or, at the very least, get rid of his taunt, or get rid of his divine shield, or make the Ashbringer a 5-2. Those are the only ways that I can think about making this guy fair, but he is absolutely insane. And it's ridiculous. So, that's why he's my number three guy. Coming in at number two, we are finally touching the Hunter class here. We have Call of the Wild. Now, this card is one mana cheaper than if you were to cast three Animal Companions on one turn. By the way, normally when you bundle cards, it costs more. To show you what I mean, we're going to go ahead to some... Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. I know exactly who to take a look at. So we're going to take a look at a six mana card here. Alright. He's a two mana. He's a six mana two three. Deal two damage to all non murloc minions. So he's a worse consecration plus a minion. So he gets six mana. So basically, we'll call the using the logic by Call of the Wild... He should be a two-mana minion. Think that through for a second. If he was a two-mana minion, do two damage to all non-Murloc minions. Sorry, there was a fly buzzing right by me. He would be played in every deck, basically, ever, because he would shut down aggro ever. And actually, Blizzard, why didn't you make that happen? That would be amazing. Make him a 0-3, deal two damage to the board. I would love that. But the fact is, they didn't. And Call of the Wild is insane, because it gives you... Uh, 5, 10, 12, 4, 8, 10. 10, 12 of stats. 12, 10 of stats. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So they basically give you Deathwing level stats, 2 mana less, and 2 less health spread over 3 bodies. With taunt, charge, and an area buff. This is the only reason Hunter is good right now, by the way. If this card did not exist, Hunter would be crap. So that is why this is the number two card of my uh, my uh, list. And to make it fair, make it a 9 or a 10 drop card. Or make Huffer weaker. Like, make Huffer a 4-1. I think would be pretty fair. Now, drum roll! <laughs> the most broken card in the game right now, in standard, belongs to none other then Cthune. <sighs> Cthune is such an overly powered card. I mean, 10 mana, 6-6, six, six, deals 6 damage. I would still be okay playing that. Like, that's still a really good effect. Like, against aggro or anything like that, it would clear off the board if you survive that long. Yada, yada, yada. But the fact that he allows so many cards to work off of him, especially this guy. Like, this card is insane because of a th Cthune. This card is in th insane. This is an insane Cthune card. An insane Cthune card. Yeah, it doesn't... Not really too insane, not really too insane. That's an insane Cthune card. Cthune allows so many broken things to happen in the game, and you can't counter him. And that's why he's not healthy for the game. And the fact that you can get more of him in your deck is ridiculous. Like, this guy shouldn't exist either. But Cthune is broken. He needs to be a 10 mana 3-3. Three, three. Same effect, same everything else. Just make him a little bit harder to get up to that threshold of 10. Well, that is my top 10 broken list in a Hearthstone in standard rotation right now. If you guys have any uh, cards that you're like, hey, why wasn't this in there? Because maybe it was in wild. 
or because I didn't think of it. So you can go ahead and yell at me. But please comment, please subscribe, and yeah, I will see you guys for the next Top 10 video. Take care, everybody.